Uh, great start. My name is Billy12510, and we're playing Pokemon Fire Red today. I hit the cord that connects to my headset, my laptop, and I. <laughs> I'm out of it. Uh, last time we did everything we could in the SSN, now we're gonna take on Vermilion City Gym. I hope this goes as. Well, give me a minute. Vermilion City Gym. It's an electric type gym. Uh, electric is good against water and flying types, which are all the types I have in my possession. Barring that oddish that isn't a part of my team. This gym mechanic sucks. Not even. What the? How am I reading what's on the front of this statue from behind it? How is that even possible? Um, okay. Uh, so what you do is you check all the trash cans. And you're looking for switches that will turn off these electric gates up here. As a general rule of thumb, the two switches are next to each other, but they're always set in random locations. Now, I wonder... Nope, only trash. I guess these are in random locations. Ah, Light wave and good for electricity, that's why I joined the gym. I could care less about your motivations, uh... I just want to know where the switches are! Oh my god, I didn't just... I'm in the process of hating many things. So... Uh, what else do I talk about, really? I mean, I explained the gym mechanic. It's one of the worst in Pokemon gym history. Next to those fans in Skyla's gym in Black and White 2. I don't know. I, I still say the worst gym I've ever gone to in Pokemon has to be uh, El Elisa's gym from Black and White 2. It's literally just a straight line and fight everyone you see. Like, it makes sense of her character, but that doesn't really constitute good gym design. It's boring. Just walk forward, fight everyone you see. You'll get there eventually. I... D I... D Game Freak, you've done some very questionable things over the years, and that is definitely one of them. Uh, potion used on Kenny. So, back to doing this. <laughs> the movie, the book, the uh, TV series. I will find this damn thing. Hey, there's a switch under the trash. First lock opened. Now I'm gonna pick the wrong one and have... Nope, there's only trash here. And if you only find trash after you flip one of the switches, hey, the electric locks are reset and are reshuffled. Fuck! Anyway. So a lot's happened to me over the past weekend. This is uh, February 17th. It's worth noting, by the way, I recorded this part, but it ended up so horribly desynced. It ended up so horribly desynced because of the fact that I was saving a video file during the time and it caused random frame skips constantly. So I'm redoing it like a month after I recorded that. I would honestly love to know. I can't check it right now, but I'll find it, I'm sure. Um. So that happened to me over this past weekend. I got a bunch of new subscribers. I got six. I have 20 now. I had 14 before. And I'm just like, wow, 
I have all these new subscribers now because I was part of a live stream on, I believe it was last Saturday night. Uh, I was on uh, Proton John's live stream. He was doing a special for all the people who subscribe to his Twitch channel. And I managed to get in the Skype call. I almost didn't because this computer that I'm recording this on uh, wouldn't let me use Skype for some reason. It glitched out like I clicked. I kept clicking the answer button, but it wouldn't work. It kept glitching out because Windows 8 is crap. But yeah, it, it was a fun time. I really enjoyed myself there. It's like card that Cards Against Humanity match. <laughs> oh my god, that was, that was one of the funniest things I've ever seen. And I've played You Don't Know Jack. I don't. I didn't think there was a game that could top You Don't Know Jack's like the funniest game I've ever played. And then Cards Against Humanity shows up. It's like, hey, look what I can do. And do literally all of these buckets have trash in them? I've literally checked all of them. I hate it when they're in the middle of four. I prefer them to be in the corners. At least then I don't have to guess. Hey, I managed to do it. I'm a hero. I'm a hero. I'm a hero to me. The me that believes in me and should believe in you as well. Just reverse that. And it will make sense, I'm sure. I hope the, I hope Kenny gets to level 30 at this rate. And I'm not ready to take on this gem. I am definitely not ready. I'm gonna lose horribly. The first time I did this, I beat Lieutenant Surge, somehow. Second time I lost to him. I think this is gonna be the, cha the uh, case where I lose to him. I'm gonna heal Kenny up with a potion this time. I still have some of these. I love how I have free rare candy still. I should probably use one of those. Um. Alright, I guess let's do this. Hey, kid! What do you think you're doing here? You won't live long in combat. I'm your puny power. I tell you, kid, electric Pokemon saved my life during the war. They saved my enemies in paralysis. Same thing I'll do to you! Hoo ha! I love how the war-hungry gym leader is the American gym leader. No, no racism there at all. Or, not necessarily racism, more... Um... Stereotyping was the word I was looking for. The first Pokemon is Voltorb! Charge, Tackle, Sonic, Boom, and Shockwave. Charge boosts the power of Electric-type moves. It got buffed in the... 4th gen games where it also raised special defense. Tackle is tackle. Sonic Boom always does 20 damage. And Shockwave is the electric type version of Swift. It will never miss. Well, now it has Screech. Maybe it's Screech instead of Charge. Huh. So as usual, my memory is off. Go figure. But hey, Kenny's level 30, alright. Maybe I stand a chance. Uh, next up is Pikachu. Level 18. 18, that's odd. Thunder Wave, Quick Attack, Shock Wave. I know I said Thunder Wave at some point. With Quick Attack. Wow, Kenny. Uh, Thunder Wave, Quick Attack, Shock Wave, and I think it's Thunder Shock or something. I remember in the first gen games. In the first gen games, his Pokemon had Thunderbolt. Dear God, I'm glad he does not have Thunderbolt, or else I'd be screwed. His last Pokemon is Raichu, level 24, with the same moveset as Pikachu, I believe. I swear I got Pikachu's moveset right during the second time I tried recording this, but I can't remember it now. Oh, it's Double Team! It's Double Team! That's the move! That's right, it was Thunder Wave, Quick Attack, Double Team, and Shock Wave. That's right. I remember that. That's why I lost last time. Because it raises evasiveness and is broken as heck. Because of that, 
evasiveness basically means moves will miss now, even those that generally have 100% accuracy. And unfortunately for me, I don't have many options to deal with that. I don't have a move that, that is 100% accurate yet. Jenny might be able to tank a few of these. Not if that happens! Okay, Kenny, you're getting healed. Thank god this hyper potion exists, I wouldn't know what to do! Ah, uh, Quick attack. Okay, that won't do much. Wow, that did a bit. Unfortunately, Lieutenant Surge is the first gym leader to use items. So if I can't kill Raichu, uh, he's gonna heal himself. Okay. Okay. Shoo, shoo. <laughs> what was I doing? Right, we were focusing on not dying. I just got a noise complaint, if you could believe it. <laughs> I got a noise complaint from my parents because I'm being too loud and my sister's, my sister's trying to study. So obviously I should have tried recording this during the day, but it never crossed my mind to do so. Okay, so I know through practice, Chudin can take one shockwave to the face. It might be my only shot if I can get Fury Attack to hit, that's the only thing. This might be another failed recording. Uh She's God. Tenet Surge, I'm not ready to do this. My team is just not equipped to handle his team. And I can't do Sand Attack because Shockwave always hits, so... I'm at a loss. Well, I do have one thing, and if I do fail this recording, I'll give that a shot. Oh, come on, baby, let's do this. Let's make it two. Make it free! Yes! I would be so much happier. Oh, come on. Uh, I'd be more excited if I wasn't just told to calm down a bit. Uh, I don't care if I'm paralyzed. That was totally worth it. Chiding. Chiding was clutch. Now that's a shock. You're the real deal, kid. Fine then, take the Thunder Badge! Zappity zap! Just like that. It cranks up your Pokemon's speed! I somehow doubt that. I also let your Pokemon use Fly Lightning Quick anytime, kid. So, you technically don't need to do this gem. You can skip over it for as long as you feel like you want to. Because Fly is not necessarily needed to beat the game, but it is very convenient once we get that HM. And you also get the TM for Shockwave. If you're playing the first gen games, you get Thunderbolt, which is super broken that early in the game. Due to do an electric Pokemon. Don't bother telling us what it is or anything like that. I like that information would help us or anything. Anyway. Uh I think that's it for now. I could there are some stuff I want to do, but I feel like I'm just going to skip over it for now and wait till next episode to do that. I mean, the video is only about like 14 minutes or so at this point, but uh, I think I'm just going to end it here. So next time, let's play Pokemon Fire Red. We're going to go to our next destination. Which means we're going to have to go back to Cerulean City. I will see you all then. Goodbye, everyone.